In this video, we are going to try to differentiate x to the x power. We know how to differentiate a to the x power. So let, let me rewrite y equals to the a to the x. In this case, you know y prime is natural log of a times a to the x. When we have x to the some power, so let's say x to the a, we know by the power rule, y prime is equal to a times x to the a minus 1. If you don't know any of this, you may see some i popping up. You can click on it to go to two respective videos where I introduce these two derivatives. But in this video, we don't have, we don't have any constants. We don't have the variable in just the exponent or just the base. We have exponent, we have x, we have the variable, we have the variable in both the exponent and the base. So we have variable on exponent and we have another one at the base and whenever this happens so whenever you have let's say variable x minus 1 to the x squared plus 1 or something like this whenever you have a variable x both in the exponent and the base it is advisable that you use logarithmic differentiation logarithmic differentiation because it helps you remove the variable from the exponent so differentiation and if you don't know how to do logarithmic differentiation, you may see another i popping up. You can click on it to go to my video where I introduce logarithmic differentiation. But for now, we are going to assume that you have some power over how to apply logarithmic differentiation, some expertise, and we're going to apply it right away. So we start by taking natural log of both sides. So you have natural log of y is equal to natural log of x to the x. And the entire point of taking natural log is to remove the, the variable in the exponent out front. So you have x times natural log of x. Now we are going to differentiate. Differentiating natural log of y gets us 1 over y times y prime. Differentiating x times natural log of x, we have to apply the product rule. You have x times 1 over x plus 1 times natural log of x, also known as 1 plus natural log of x. So our y prime is going to be y times 1 plus natural log of x. And we want to write this in terms of x. So that's x to the x. y was x to the x to begin with times 1 plus natural log of x. So the derivative of x to the x power, so y equals to x to the x, our y prime is going to be x to the x times 1 plus natural log of x.